in this later tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can add images to your later document. Now quick disclaimer before I start the video. This folder over here contains my .tech file. So throughout the video, I'm going to refer to this folder as my main folder. In your case, your main folder is whatever folder contains your later document. So first what you want to do is you want to add the image to your main folder. So I'll just add a random image for now. And then you want to add the graphics package to the preamble of your document. And this is graphics with an X, not with an S. Then you can use the include graphics command to add your image. So in this case, my image is called image2.png. So that's what I'm going to type here. And when you hit compile, LaTeX would render your image. There we go. And you don't have to mention the extension. You could have omitted the extension and LaTeX would have still understood that you're trying to include the image called image2. So it's completely up to you whether you want to include the extension or not. And this image is quite large and I can easily rescale it by using the scale command. So I type scale equals 0.4. And that tells LaTeX to scale this image down by a factor of 0.4. And make sure that the scale command is in these square brackets. Now you can also scale images up by typing whatever value you want. So for now, I'm going to scale this image up by a factor of 1.6. And that would scale my image up. You can also manually adjust the width and height if you don't want to scale your image. And you can do that by typing width equals, or let's set the width to be 10 centimeters. And for height, you can type height equals whatever value you want. And that would readjust the width and height. Now, you don't have to use centimeters. You could have used inches or millimeters. LaTeX understands a lot of different units. For now, I'm going to scale this image down just so that it looks a bit more proportional. Yes. So to add captions to your image, what you want to do is you want to house your include graphics code inside a figure environment. And a figure environment is going to allow you to add a caption. So I'm going to type backslash caption and then whatever, let's label this image as vectors. And when I hit compile, later we'll add a caption right here. There we go. Now, if I zoom out, I'll see that my image is not centered. And it's not positioned correctly either. So to position my image correctly, I'm going to use another package called float. And I'm going to type square brackets, capital H next to begin figure. And that would reposition my image to wherever my code is, yes. And to center this image, I'm going to use the centering declaration. So I'm going to type centering. And when I hit compile, my image would be horizontally centered. Yes. Often you'll be working with a lot of images. So I'll recommend creating a separate folder for images so that you don't clutter your main folder. And when you do that and you hit compile, you'll see that LaTeX is not able to find your image. And the reason for that is because LaTeX is currently searching your main folder directory for the image called image2. So what we'll do is we're going to use the graphics path command and we're going to reroute LaTeX graphics path. So you're going to type two sets of curly braces and inside the second set, you're going to type dot forward slash and then the name of the folder in which your images are located in. So in this case, my images are all in the images folder. So I'm going to type dot forward slash images and then forward slash again. And when I hit compile, I'll see that LaTeX is able to find my image. Yes. Now, as you can see, I have multiple images here. So I can add another image if I want by simply copy pasting this code and typing image, whatever image I want. So I'm going to include image three here and I'll get another image. Now let's say you have a bunch of subfolders inside your images folder and these subfolders contain your images. So how do you tell LaTeX that you want to include image two in your document? To do that, you'll have to again modify your graphics path. So all you have to do is add vectors here. Now this entire sentence, this tells LaTeX the location of the folder vectors. It tells LaTeX where this folder called vectors is located. And the graphics path command tells LaTeX to search this folder or whatever images we want to include in our document. So if I hit compile, LaTeX would search the folder vectors for the image called image2 and it'll produce image2. Now let's say I want to include image3, which is in the folder called calculus. I'll have to specify another graphics path 
and I can do that by typing dot forward slash images forward slash calculus and I can include image 3 by copying this code here and typing image 3 now when I hit compile LaTeX will include image 3 in my document yeah so what LaTeX did here is that it searched the folders called vectors and calculus for image 3 and after finding the image it included it in uh, in this document I can also include images in this applications folder by specifying the graphics path of this folder so I'm going to type images and then forward slash applications and now I can include the images inside this folder called applications so this image I'm going to include image 5 for now and when I hit compile LaTeX would produce image 5 there we go yes and if you're working on local LaTeX installation uh, on your computer then your main folder might look like this here's your main tech file here are this is your images or images folder and inside this folder are your subfolders with all your images so this is how your folder might look if you're using a latex installation on, on your computer so that's it for this video i'll leave a link to this project down in the description so that you guys can check the code out again and let me know if you guys have any questions i'll try to solve them as soon as possible and thanks for watching